As Disney's American-born Chinese series just got canceled, which stars Michelle Yeoh, a new dark comedy gangster thriller series on Netflix just came out that also stars Michelle Yeoh. So Michelle Yeoh has just been resurrected. Uh, but is this new show going to succeed and are you going to watch it let's talk about I it. I really have to tell you Michelle Yeoh is like the LeBron James of Asian American cinema and media right now on every platform um you guys we got to talk about this Andrew American born Chinese was canceled at Disney plus um however the brother's son just released this week on Netflix and yeah. we watched the first episode so make sure you like subscribe and turn your notifications Andrew we're supporting it we know a lot of people in the cast itself but you know what else is popping from Asian America small sauce check it out man it just came out a couple months ago and it's almost sold out so maybe it will get renewed for a season two as well um long story short guys the brother's son it's really interesting because it's almost like there's some elements of the typical Asian American coming of age story right from ABC, but mixed with like a dark triad Chinese gangster, not gangster, gangster movie mixed with what? A comedy? Yeah, I would say mixed in with some oddball kind of irreverent humor or like elements, kind of like everything everywhere all at once. Uh, there's definitely some goofiness in the story. But anyways, guys, we're going to talk about it because I think that so far, David, the brother's son, and it just came out like five days ago. Uh, as of when we filmed this video. And it's got really good reviews as far as the people who rated it. But does that mean it's going to be successful? So I want to ask you guys out there who has watched it. Leave a comment if you like it. Um, but if not, also tell us why you don't like well, it. Well, I think the truth is, you know, ABC on Disney Plus, uh, I heard it was a very expensive show and that was part of it. But that also had 94% on Rotten Tomatoes when it got canceled. Yeah. So I don't know if Rotten Tomatoes is fully a good metric when nobody watches the show except the people who want to support the right. show. And remember, a key for a show to be successful is not whether you like the show, it's whether it gets renewed for season two. Right. That's really key. Well, isn't it if enough people that fit the demographic that they're going after watch the show? Of course, every show generally has a cult following, right? To, to a greater or lesser extent. Obviously, if you're Game of Thrones, you have a lot. If you're a lesser show, you have a smaller one. But they really want to know how it performs with a normie average mm. consumer that's not in your, like, niche super fan group, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's talk about the brother's son, Andrew Michelle Yeoh, his mama's son. Charles Chen is Charles' son. Sam Song Lee, shout out to Sam Lee, is mm -hmm. Bruce's son. Um, you've got Heidi Kwan as Alexis. Alice Hugan as May. June Lee, shout out to June Lee from mm -hmm. the YouTube world. Madison Hu as Grace. Mm -hmm. Jenny Yang, Andrew. Jenny Yang. Good to see Jenny in the role. Shout out to Jenny Yang. Known her for years. So we do have, we know, know a lot of people in this show. And I know actually a lot of other LA people who kind of make appearances in the background or maybe have like one or two lines here or there. Are you interested to see a Netflix show, Andrew, that has some Asian American, like, you know, typical elements like we always talk about mixed with like a da da Taiwanese gangster drama. Yeah. Andrew, me and you watched, have watched some of those yeah. in Mandarin and Taiwanese. Yeah, there is, listen, the show, I'm just going to say this. I watched two episodes. Everybody should watch one episode. They should, everybody should feel obligated. Now, this is a good enough show. Trust me, I don't say this by every who show. Who should feel obligated? I, I think Asians who like, any Asian who likes action should feel obligated to watch episode one. I think if you're Chinese, and especially from California, <laughs> no, let's be honest, because it takes place in the SGV, and this has to do with uh, Taiwan. Oh, so, so, how about this? If you're Chinese, you got to watch two episodes. If you Asian American, you should at least watch the trailer. And if you Taiwanese and you ever knew that there was not just the model minority side of the Taiwanese experience, but also that da da, right. da gangster, yeah. more like Kaohsiung yeah. side, three episodes. Yeah, yeah, if you go have been back to Taipei at least three or four times in your life for family reasons, you got to watch at least three or four episodes. So I think it's a good show. That's my thing. I'm Obviously, I have my criticisms of it. But not to just be so critical, it, it's solid. From what I saw, and you watched more than me, yeah. I felt like there were some really good moments that okay. made me, reminded me, especially when it was Michelle Yeoh and Justin, where I was like, yo, this is kind of fire. This is like a Hey Shil Hui, which is like a mm. underground world drama. Mm. But there were some parts, there were some misses too, right? They were swinging a lot. When you swing for home runs, sometimes you hit a home run, but sometimes you be getting let, struck let out me, too. Let me just tell you this. When it comes to the deep cut gangster darks, a Chinese stuff in the show, I 
I thought it was better. There's certain aspects that you're talking about the AZN gangster yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's certain some- stuff about in the California that are like kind of weird. It looks weird and like looks goofy, but I don't know. Maybe that's part of the appeal of the show too. You know, like there is some like it seems like the AZN gangster parts were more removed from reality than the Hey Show Hui triad stuff. Possibly, but anyways, uh, I guess David, any other last takes before we get into the comments I'll say section? This, look, listen, if you guys are uh, have a few toes. Obviously, I'm sure nobody watching here has 10 toes. Maybe some people do in the industry. You know that they took a look in over the past four or five years at so many Asian pilots. Not all the Asian pilots got picked up, but I'll tell you this. If Michelle Yeoh was attached to one of those pilots, it probably got picked up. It probably got picked up, yeah. So It got a chance. It's got a chance. Um, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said Michelle Yeoh always picks the best roles. Somebody said it was 10 out of 10. Somebody said, I like Blood Blue Boots, which is played by this character, John Schwer. They liked his character. Other people were against the brother's son, Andrew. Mm. Piss poor acting and boring storyline. The acting is pretty awful. It made it feel like a daytime soap opera. Ish was way too goofy. Basically referring to some of the more gangster scenes feeling Silly. I think it depends on what your expectation is. I think if you go in with zero expectation, then I think the top comments are 100% true. I think if you are going through it with a very, like, critical eye, it does feel like more of a TV series, except more bloody. So, like, this does feel like a TV series that might have showed up on, like, a... CW? Uh, no, 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 like no, 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 it's, be- it's from- better than CW. It's better than CW. It's better than CW, but maybe like an ABC, like a real network or a Fox. You know, like something that has, there's certain aspects that uh, are, I do agree, are a little goofy. Are you saying it doesn't feel like HBO or Showtime? Maybe? It's not an HBO show, but it is a solid show. So I think that's why if you don't like the first episode, then don't watch the rest of the show. But I think you should watch at give least it the first chance, episode. Give it a chance, man. Give it a gotta chance. You got to give it a chance because there's a lot of good action. There's a lot of blood. Um, somebody said it just feels like a Western Asian specialty made for Western tastes. This is a comment from obviously a fob or some guy from Asia uh, himself. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they definitely did make it with, uh, it is less Asian. It doesn't feel like it was made in Asia. That That is true. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, other people saying that, you know, this had to be a, written by an Asian guy. If it was an Asian girl, it would have just not been necessarily as good Asian American representation. Some uh. people were saying, hey, listen, guys, it might not be perfect, but I'm just happy to see sort of almost like some cool leading male action, like some masculine energy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think what's what's good is that Justin Chin in there, he's the main protagonist. He's like the action, the badass brother uh, assassin in the show. And he still gets to flex some dry humor in it, uh-huh. as well as there is the goofy brother, which is Sam Song Lee, who kind of is like this goofy, unknowingly. like he, He's a brother who's raised in a gangster family, but the, the, the it got hidden from him, yeah, right? Yeah, so he, yeah. it's unbeknownst to Michelle him. Michelle Yeoh does do a good job in this. Yeah. As always, she does like, she, I think she always does an eight out of 10, like in every single role. So it's pretty good. And then there is some darkness to the show, which I think adds to the legitimacy and makes it a little less cringe. Right. But definitely some parts I'm like, ah, I would like to would see somebody it. ram a boba straw through somebody's eyeball. If, why not? Oh, that's not... You want to see that? Why they not? They probably have it in later the later series. I didn't watch because it all. Because if it's going to be in 626 and it's going to be like a crazy Taiwanese gangster drama, why not? S- smash somebody's head with a durian like that Jackie Chan movie when they were in uh, Malaysia. Yeah, no, no. There is, there is some of that. There is some of that. Um, somebody so. said you can't just take two generic things, a generic Asian gangster show and a generic Asian American show and then cram them together and it doesn't make it automatically good. I That's do, what this is. Not my words, by the way. Somebody else. Uh, yeah, I think. I think. Here's my prediction to wrap this up. I think this show does get renewed. I think it's good enough. I think it is one of the better Asian action films. It doesn't deal with a whole lot of mysticism of ancient Asian ancient Chinese culture, which ancient Chinese culture is for is 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 a good thing. Is a real thing, but I don't need to see every show about it. Well, no, and real expand on that real quick, because I think that that's probably why ABC on Disney plus, despite the good reviews from the few people who saw it got canceled. No, I, right? It's a really high, it was really high budget to do CGI with the mysticism. And a lot of people in the Western world are fundamentally not yeah. interested in, in Sun Wukong no. or Shu Mong. And, and, that account- and, 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 and it has to do with the execution too because they like it overseas, but even overseas, it's, no. it was done different than in I, Disney. I think even other Asian Americans, even Chinese Americans are not as much into how 
Sun Wukong is like represented. Like I would like to see Sun Wukong more in like a modern day, like he's resurrected. Dude, as I like want to see Zhuge like, Liang or Cao Cao in yeah, the modern day. Yeah, Stop like some me. other like- Some real Chinese historical- And then what about like Sun Tzu comes back and then like- Guan Yu. Sun Tzu plans like the military operation for this kid to go like- Beat but up well, this who's going to be planning son. for China to take over the U.S.? You want Sun Tzu to come back and lead China? I I think this I think the series gets uh, a renewed, uh, but I I think they make some tweaks in the second season. But overall, watch the first episode, guys. You know that's my message. Okay, it is good. It is some good action. There's some blood. There's some humor. There's some Chinese culture. Check it out. There was some fire scenes. There were some not fire scenes, but watch for the fire scenes. I'll say this. Anytime something is trending, whether it's a movement or an archetype, a style of music, do you remember when the cool kids were popping, Andrew, and then Chitty Bang was getting on, but Chitty Bang wasn't good, but everybody was doing in the Diamond with the Black Mags, you know, that like 1980s tape deck rap restyle back in the day, what was that, like 2008? I'm saying it's like sometimes when there's a movement, it's going to produce a volume of products, right? Mm -hmm. And th there's going to be a variance mm -hmm. in how cringe they are, how uncringe they are. Oh, beef wins the Golden Globe because it's the least cringe. But even though shows that get canceled, even a, a movie like Boogie, as cringe as Boogie was, Eddie Huang's basketball, Asian American basketball movie, there were some good moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some fire moments. Everybody was, has good moments. But there were some Everybody. not fire moments, yeah. yeah. So I just feel like this is just part of the process. So I guess... Asian Americans support it, but know that the road, like upwards, there's some cringiness involved. There, in and it. there will be more shows too, as well, that have Asians in it. So this is not the end all. But what be if all. people are worried? Oh my gosh, these are our first like ten, and, and nah. not only some of them were good, and some of them. <clears throat> For this show to be successful, it's going to require more than just Asians to watch it. So I think, like, I think the numbers will speak. We'll see in probably a, a couple months from now. You know whether it gets renewed or not. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below if you've even seen the trailer, if you've watched any full episodes of The Brother's Son out on Netflix right now. Uh, shout out to everybody that was in it. I hope it goes and gets renewed, and, but then I hope we get more stuff too. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.